Welcome to service, everybody. Welcome, welcome. I'm evangelist and pastor Talitha Kumi from the Empire of Jesus Christ World Evangelism. Welcome to service on tonight. This is our worldwide prophetic online Bible study. All right. So welcome one, welcome all. Ordinary just won't do. Commission is in the house. Let's get our praise on before we go into the word of God. Commission is in the house. Let's get our praise on. How many of you know the ordinary just won't do? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
that speaks of words so much of love and me so much Ordinary just won't do I need someone, my lord, I need someone And someone is you And someone Woo! is you Worldwide Bible study. I do not own the copyrights to this song, but commission is in the house. Go ahead and praise God where you are. If you woke you up this morning, get your praise on. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All is well. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, that all is well. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, 
again welcome everyone to service on tonight this is our worldwide prophetic online service I'd like everyone to do me a favor and hit the share button right now hit the share button and invite your other brothers and sisters into service on tonight I'd like everybody to do that um, this is not the time to have a disobedient spirit. Do you see what's happening outside right now? Okay, so then that should let you know you're not the only one that needs to hear the word of God. So I'm going to ask everybody to hit the share button at this time. If you're listening to my voice, 
whether you're here now or whether you come in the replay please hit the share button okay there are other people that need to hear the Word of God all right thank you so much for those of you that are hitting the share button right now may God add a blessing for your obedience in Jesus name all right um, welcome everyone on tonight I am so uh, I'm always honored to to come to minister what the say of God amen thank you thank you thank you for hitting the share button thank you so much thank you for inviting other brothers and sisters in right now everyone take a moment if you're coming in right now take a moment to invite some other brothers and sisters in everyone hit that share button and may God add a blessing for your obedience amen um, so I'm excited about I'm always excited about um, coming to minister the Word of God to God's people. We just came off of our seven-day fast. And um, for those of you that are new, this is the empire of Jesus Christ, world evangelism. All right? And we are a ministry after God's own heart. Okay? This is an end time ministry, if you didn't know. This is an end time ministry, and my mandate from God is to make disciples out of you all. Okay? Not church people. There's enough church people sitting in church right now doing absolutely nothing. Okay? Those days are over. You can't afford it. You can't afford it. Okay? So. God has given me a mandate to make disciples, disciples and soldiers of Jesus Christ, not babies, not whiners, okay? Um, we are no longer whiners. We're not whiners here. We're warriors here. We're not pitiful here. We're powerful, okay? So if God has led you here, you need to applaud yourself if God has led you here because that is God's way of letting you know that it's time for you to go to the next level all right because many of you you have sat in churches and unfortunately they have taught you nothing they've played well myself included they have played with us toiled with us and this is why you're seeing what you're seeing worldwide right now because God is not pleased okay and he is shutting things down now all right let's pray father in the name of jesus i thank you for another opportunity to be used by you father father god i ask you to release your anointing right now a fresh anointing upon me to speak to your children but above all else holy spirit i ask you to teach all of us because you are the great teacher and i am not so, Father God, my prayer tonight is that they will hear my voice, but Holy Spirit, that they will hear from you. So God, allow me to decrease right now as you increase. In the name of Jesus, open up every eye, open up every ear, open up every spirit. Satan, you are bound. You are bound. And everyone in agreement with that prayer, say amen. So, family... Um, we just came off of our fast. We will be fasting again in August, August the 1st through the 7th. Actually, actually, we will be fasting at the end of July. We'll be fasting after 12 midnight, July 31st until after 12 midnight, August 7th. Everyone can come back to my uh, page and you will see the prayer points that we will be fasting regarding, okay? Many of you that have been following this ministry for weeks, for days, some of you are new, some of you have been following now for some days, some of you have been following for weeks, some of you have been following for months, 
Some of you have been following for years. God bless you all. But those of you that have been following, you know that I don't sugarcoat anything. Okay? I tell you exactly what you need to know. Because we're living in the last days. We're living in the end times. And I don't have time to play with folks. Okay? Because in order for me to play with you, that means I'm playing with God. And there ain't no way I'm going to play with God. So I, I'm not going to play with you. All right? So I'm going to give you exactly what you need to know, tell you exactly what you need to know, and it's up to you to obey or disobey. How many of you know there are only two kinds of people in the earth? Only two. Obedient and disobedient. Only two. God's people and Satan's people. Only two. Now the wonderful thing is, that all of us that all of us belong to Satan at one time. All of us. All of us. He was our father. All of us. All of us. Because we're born in sin and we're shaped in iniquity. So all of us were born in sin and shaped in iniquity. So this is what it means to be born again. We've got to be born again. Okay? So it's all right that you belong to Satan right now. Just change it. Change it. Because let me help you. Jehovah God is only taking care of his own children. Okay? As we move forward. Jehovah God, through Jesus Christ, who died and bled and shed his blood sacrificially, innocently. That Jehovah God is only taking care of his own. All right. So the wonderful thing is that if you belong to Satan right now, today is July 8th. It's exactly 825. You can change that. You can change that before July 9th. You can change it. You can change it before tomorrow night. All right. Get on your knees. Repent of your sins. And ask Jesus Christ to come in your life and be your Lord and Savior. That's all you got to do. That's all you have to do. And then once you do that, once you do that, you have to develop a relationship with God. And that's developed over time. That's developed every day, every day, every day, every day, every day. And then when you make a mistake, because you will, and then when you make a mistake, okay, you immediately, immediately repent. Get that thing right with God, immediately. Get it right with God. That's how this works, okay? So as babies in Christ, as babies in Christ, just like those of you that had children, they stumbled, they fall, you know, they, they fell. You pick them up. Remember, just remember when you had children and they were infants and babies. Many of you will be like that. You'll stumble, you'll fall. But your father will pick you back up. Okay? But see, you have to be a willing participant. You've got to be willing to repent and get back up so your father can help you and keep you. Okay? See, unfortunately, some people that fell, they didn't get back up. They stayed right there in their sin. Wrong move. Wrong move. You don't stay in your sin. You repent of your sin immediately. And then you begin to pray and fast. This is why this ministry prays and we fast. Often, Jesus Christ prayed and he fasted. How do you think you'll be successful if you don't do what the Son of God did? There's no way you'll be successful if you don't pray and fast. So in this ministry, this is an end time ministry. Okay? This is not church as usual. This is a vessel after God's own heart. 
That's who I'm running after every single day. Okay? So I don't play, I don't play a false prophet and, and, and false pastor and fake apostle games. I don't play those games. Okay? Now, many of you, I just told you, I've got a kingdom that I must make it in. And many of you can make it in too. You can make it in. We can make it in together. Okay? But let me help you. This is not the place to come and try to play games. Because just like Jesus Christ put folks out of his father's house, I'm known for putting people out until you're ready to get yourself together. All right? I'm known for doing that. I have to. Because I have to stay focused. So God loves you. God loves you. Okay? But let me help you. How much do you love God? That's now the question to ask and to answer. That's the question to ask and to answer. See, I've been in the ministry over 30 years. I gave my life to Christ when I was seven years old. Had visions, visitations, trances from God, etc., etc. So through those years, I have fallen in love with God. I don't just love him. I'm in love with him. Let me help you. So many of you, you're running around talking about, yes, I'm born again. I'm a Christian. But you're still listening and obeying Satan every single day. You can't serve two masters. This ain't Burger King. You can't have it your way. It's either God's way or Satan's way by default. Okay? It's either God's way or Satan's way by default. Okay? So you all have to stop saying how much you love God, but you're in the bed every night with Satan. That's not going to work anymore. Do you see what's happening out there? Do you see what's happening? I saw a very disturbing video yesterday or the day before. Gentleman walking in the Bronx with his four-year-old daughter. Four years old. Just walking across the street. Okay? Somebody rolls up on him and shoots him. Shoots him. Dead. His little four-year-old daughter runs to the left and she didn't even know what to do. And then she runs to the right, running up the street. Very, very disturbing. And you, and you have the audacity to think you can just say you love God and say you're born again. But you are sleeping with Satan every night, obeying Satan every night. Wrong move. You have no supernatural protection. Satan knows who you are. Okay? And Satan is taking folks out who have no supernatural protection. Stop playing with God. Stop playing yourself. Stop playing yourself. This is not the time to be wishy-washy anymore. Get your lives cleaned up. Clean up your relationship with God. Serve him the way he wants to be served. In the book of Romans, Romans chapter, uh, uh, chapter 12, present your body a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable. That's your reasonable service. That's your reasonable service. Okay? You, 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 we can't afford as children of God. So you all have to get a prayer through. Don't, don't, don't ask me to pray for you. Don't ask me to pray for you if you haven't prayed for yourself and fasted. Too many lazy rascals. No, 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 no. I said this is the empire of Jesus Christ, world evangelism. And I said this ministry teaches you all how to be disciples now of Jesus Christ, not lazy folks. How dare you ask somebody else to pray for you? When is the last time you bent your own knees? How dare you? No, 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 no. This is the empire of Jesus Christ, world evangelism. We teach you how to bend your own knees. 
and get it done? What makes you think God will hear my prayers faster than he will hear your prayers if you are living clean and holy the way he said? God is no respecter of persons. What he does for me, he'll do for you. But the problem is, folks want to live for Satan and call on God like he's some kind of cosmic puppet, like he's, suppo he's supposed to come to you at your every whim when you want to live the way you want to live. Shut it down. It ain't working no more. We stepped into the new world or we have stepped into the new world order. What color is your mask? Do you seriously think you can continue to live a lifestyle that God said, shut it down? See, I'm not, I'm not one of those pastors that, that, that run after offerings. So they don't want to tell you the truth. I'm not that one. That's the one that you left, the one that God shut the doors on. That was that pastor, not this one. Okay? Because trust me when I tell you, trust me when I tell you, you better be able to get a prayer through where this world is going. Every time I come out of prayer and fasting, God takes me on journeys. You all need to pray and fast. Okay. You all need to pray and fast. Turn your plate over. You need some power now. Y'all better get some power. Let me help you. As they're marching, Black Lives Matter. This march looks similar to the 1960s marches. Okay. 1800 marches, 1921 Wall Street, Black Wall Street marches. I don't like injustice on any level. I don't like injustice on any level. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like liars. I don't like people who play games. I don't like it. So, as individuals are marching, let me help you. Stop running after so-called leaders. Stop running after man-made leaders. It doesn't work. Can't you see that? It's not working, and it never will. Let me help you. I would say somewhere around, what, 1619. Slavery, 1619, 2019 made 400 years. We're dealing with the same thing. What does that tell you? See, this is what happens when I pray and fast. God begins to take me deeper and deeper and deeper. So you and I are growing together because the Bible says occupy until he comes. So we've got to occupy. A part of occupying means study, study, study. As I am about God's business with ministry and my own businesses, I have to still study, study, study. I have to study. So as I'm studying and I'm watching the world, et cetera, et cetera, why are we still, why are we still marching, having to do these marches for satanic reasons? Let me help you. This is a satanic system. Lock it in. This is a satanic system. It will be satanic until Jesus Christ returns. It will be. Now, I'm seeing some things I've never seen. I've never seen some of the stuff I'm seeing. It hurt me to my heart to see that little four-year-old girl after her father was shot run in a in, in different direction. She didn't even know where to run to. Four years old. In the Bronx, two days ago, some car just drives up and shoots a man walking 
his daughter. Let me help you. We live in a very satanic system. I don't put nothing past nobody, past nothing anymore. Okay, I really don't. Now, now that now this is some kind of retaliation thing going on now. I would stay, I would I would put my life on it. This is some kind of retaliation stuff. Okay? For the satanic police officers, okay, killing folks innocently, just like Jesus Christ was killed innocently. This is some retaliation stuff. I wouldn't even be surprised if people were paying people to do some of the stuff that's going on. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put it past this satanic system. Now, obviously, there are wonderful police officers, okay, because there's good and bad in every career. So let me help you. God does have a chosen people. He does. And I've been doing a whole lot of praying and fasting. And now I'm, 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 I'm saying to myself, Six, since 1619, 400 years, and, and prior to that, Moses' time, and Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Okay? And, and, and let's, let's, let's not play these little games, you know, because people say, well, you know, it really doesn't matter what color somebody was. Let me help you. Let me, let, me, let me help you because something is bothering me right now. I don't like when I'm bothered. Apparently, it does matter. Apparently, it does matter if Somebody is going to paint my Lord and Savior's face, okay, white as snow, when the Bible clearly said that he was black, like me, okay? So apparently something does matter if you've got to paint my Lord and Savior another color other than myself, okay? Let me help you. Don't, 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 and don't, don't come with the, the, the prejudice. Don't, don't, don't bring that nonsense over here. Truth is truth. And it's time to tell it. It's just that simple. It's just that simple. Okay. Truth is truth. The Bible said Jesus's feet was brass as if they were burned in the furnace. His hair was white like wool. So apparently if it doesn't matter, Why? All these years was my Lord and Savior painted another color than what he was and what he is. Because he's still alive and well. He's seated at the right hand of Jehovah God. So I'm a little disturbed in my spirit now because every time I fast, the Holy Ghost takes me deeper and takes me deeper and takes me deeper. That's why you all need to fast and pray. Shut down this nonsense. Shut down this lily white uh, uh, Christianity, uh, nonsense, fluffy, fluffy. We've got to know who we are now. Okay. And it's obvious. It's getting quite obvious who God's people really are because God's people are not murderers. Let me help you. God's people are not murderers. Creating creating diseases, creating pandemics, creating uh, 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 viruses. That's not God's people. That's not a chosen people. Okay. I'm Hebrew. Talitha Kumi. I'm Hebrew. My father's name was Abraham. Okay. I'm Hebrew. I'm from the original tribe. Judah. Judah. I'm from the tribe of Judah. Okay? Same tribe, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Jesus Christ, and many of you. Okay? So, then I'm asking myself. Now I'm asking questions to my God, and he's giving me answers. Okay? Who is the most people that are copied worldwide? Who's the most people that are copied worldwide? However, our culture is stolen 
constantly but our culture is constantly raped okay our culture is raped folks want to be like us but they want to act like they're superior to us no one is superior no one is supposed to be superior we're all supposed to be living here okay together loving one another but you have individuals that want to act like they're superior while they're stealing and raping our culture let me help you there is a seed of satan and this is why you and i okay lions of judah this is why we have to come back to our god because seeds of satan okay unless they now go after jehovah god through jesus christ they are seeds of satan they are satan seeds you'll know them by their fruit okay see this is why you all need to teach your children i can't teach your children you're with your children every day teach them we we we, we know going to school and college you 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 know that we were indoctrinated with with what they wanted us to be indoctrinated with and half of that was not the truth when you do your research on Christopher Columbus how many how many individuals did, did he kill this is why the bible said in 2 Timothy 2:15 study 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 to show ourselves approved i was appalled i was appalled when i found out the truth the face of my lord and savior cesare borgia son to a catholic pope and he was a sodomizer and when you do a study on that family the borgias evil 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 he slept with his own sister killed his family members and i'm still studying stuff out but let me help you family let me help you what i'm talking about right now and what i'm talking about period is not religion you've got to come back to your leader and it's not somebody that's designated down here it's not somebody that's been designated down here we have a leader and we have a father and he knows how to supernaturally visit individuals that even would try to come and take you out he knows how to visit them listen so the question is no longer how much so the question is no longer do you love god don't even answer that anymore show him how much you love him you know how many things i had to walk away from some of you that know my background you know where i came from i had to walk away from all of that because that's what you do when you say you want a relationship with God, you have to leave this satanic system. So I can't do the things I used to do. Can't go to many of the places I used to go to. Can't hang out with certain people I used to hang out with. I can pray for them, but I can't hang out with them. Do you think God allowed Jesus Christ to die just so you and I can go into a church building and do all this stuff are you serious right now folks in in in, in church dancing and shouting and can't even get a prayer through diseases up and down your body because you're listening to satan and not god 
still sleeping with people who aren't your husband and aren't your wife. Snorting cocaine, methamphetamines, sodomizing, and you want to act like you got a relationship with the true, holy, pure God. Repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Repent. So during, during, during Black Lives Matter, we, we come to find out that it, it wasn't many of us that were rioting. It wasn't, it wasn't many of us that were rioting and breaking our own neighborhood's windows. Come to find out it was folks that wasn't even, didn't even live in the neighborhood. And when you look down at some of their shoes, it was undercover police officers. Come on, y'all. I'm not the one. I'm not the one. This is a satanic system. Don't ever forget what system you live in. This is a satanic system. Okay? It is only when you and I cross over that we will cross over into God's utopia. This ain't it, and it will never be it. Okay? So, something is going on. God is pulling, he is pulling the rug from under these folks. Our eyes are being opened worldwide as to who we really are. But let me help you. The first, first things first, come back to your God. Come back to your God so that he can supernaturally protect you. This is no doubt a new world order. No doubt about it. What color is your mask? No doubt about we're in the new world order. So now when you have people shooting people outside of their cars and, and they're just walking up the street. And nobody can convince me, nobody can convince me that some of these folks aren't being paid by this satanic system to do some of the things that they're doing. Nobody can convince me otherwise. But see, this is why you and I need supernatural protection now. You need the Holy Ghost to be able to tell you, don't go outside today. Don't walk up that street, walk up this street. Okay? Don't go shopping today. Go shopping tomorrow. You need the Holy Ghost for that. You can't lead yourself anymore. Okay? And all these folks that think they, they have money and they're elite, let me help you with that. God is judging. God is judging nations now. Anytime you start seeing plagues, biblical plagues, biblical plagues, those of you that read your Bible, okay? What, there were nine, what, nine or ten plagues that was released during Moses' time. Lice, locusts, flies, okay? Boils on people, okay? God did that. The devil had nothing to do with it. God did that. So when you start seeing these same exact plagues coming back out, coming out in different places in the world, trust me, God is behind that. The devil don't have nothing to do with that. Plagues were done by God himself, okay? Plagues were released by Jehovah God. See, God is saying now he's not playing with folks. Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with him. Get your house in order. Clean up your house. All of us had to do it. All of us had to do it. Okay, if you're lying, cheating, stealing, you, whatever sin you're in, go to God tonight. Get on your knees tonight and repent and ask God to come into your life through Jesus Christ. And let me help you. Those that keep talking about, oh, you know, this is religion. This is a white man's religion. Let me help you. Have a seat and zip it. Zip it. Because some of you are the main ones that's going down. 
You're the main one doing all this talking and the main one that's going down. Satan is trying to take you out right now. You better be glad somebody is praying for you. Have a seat. Nobody has time to be running after a doggone religion. I run after Jehovah God, not a religion. Okay? And let me tell you something about my God. He keeps my body healed. He keeps my body healed. Okay? He takes care of me. Because I take care of him. And I am not into religion. I'm into relationship with Jehovah God. When I talk to him, he talks back. So you all come out of all this nonsense. Stop trying to do what you want to do. Your doggone kids getting shot up. You in and out of the hospitals. Because you want to hang on to a doggone boyfriend. Because you want to keep having sex. For real. You ready to die for that? If you're ready to die for that, help yourself. Because that's what's going to happen. You have no supernatural protection. As long as you are outside of Christ, you are inside of Satan. It's just as simple. And let me apologize to all the jack leg preachers that didn't tell you all the truth. But this ain't one of them. I've got a kingdom that I'm going to make it in. And I'm trying to, week after week, I come here to try to take many of you with me. Because y'all know we ain't going to be here forever. But we ain't... We ain't going nowhere right now because God is judging. And I already told God, I want to I want to see all this go down. Come for a real prophet if you want to. Come for a real one. Okay? Not, not them ones in the back in the booth in the corner in the dark telling you all, oh, God told me to tell you to give $50,000. Oh, God told me to tell you to buy this oil. You can play with them fake prophets and pastors all day. Don't come for a real one. You can play with them. The ones that don't tell you nothing. Scared to preach the word of God. Punks in the pulpit. I'm just like my father Jehovah. Okay, okay, okay. Let me help you. My father Jehovah he said in Jeremiah 23, 21, woe unto the pastors that would destroy and scatter my sheep. Jehovah said, woe to them. I'm just like my father. He don't like them and I don't either. Now, if they repent, it's a whole nother story. I welcome them with open arms. But I don't like anybody. I don't like anybody, not even a punk pastor, but I don't like anybody. That, that tries to deceive people. I don't like it. I never have and I never will. I don't like liars. You want to be a friend of mine? Never lie to me. Because the day I catch you in the lie, all bets are off. So I want to apologize to all the brothers and sisters out there, including myself, that we tried to go to church, you know, including the celebrities. I have a lot of producers, celebrities, and individuals that come on my, on my page, you know, I want to, I want to personally apologize to many of you that went to different churches throughout the world and you got jacked up. Hey, welcome to the club. Maybe that's why I preach the way I preach. But the wonderful thing is, or shall I say, Regardless to how they tried to jack us up, don't leave God. Leave them, but don't leave God. Don't leave God. You can't afford it now. You can't afford it. Okay? So as I was in prayer and fasting, every time I pray and fast, and let me say this again, the empire of Jesus Christ, world evangelism, we will be fasting and praying again. At the end of this month, July 31st, after 12 midnight, for the next seven days until after August 7th. Those of you that want to be on this fast, you are welcome to be on the, on the fast. We will be drinking water and juices only. Or 
those of you some of you are new to fasting you can eat one meal a day as you drink your juices and your water okay towards the end of the month I'll be putting up our prayer points so that all of us can be praying for the same thing okay you all need to learn how to pray for yourself don't be lazy you can't afford to be lazy anymore stop being spiritually lazy give your life back to your leader and your father I don't run around here trusting the government I don't trust I trust Jehovah God okay I have to pray for our president because the Bible mandates us to pray for those who are in rulership over us let me help you I even pray for jack leg preachers but I only have one prayer for them that they repent see I know my Bible them that know them I know my Bible and the Bible says the wheat and the tear are going to grow together see I know my Bible I know what my Bible says been reading it 30 years I know what it says God has already warned us about fake and false pastors and prophets he already warned us about that so I'm not even shocked by that okay some pastor in the Kojic church sleeping with 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 little boys it reminded me of the allegations with Eddie Long continuous on and on and on and I'm saying to myself I know these I know these brothers read the Bible I know they know about Noah when God when only eight people survived out of an entire world I know they got to know this I know they have to know about uh, Solomon Gomorrah an entire war an entire city probably millions in that city and only three people survived I know these pastors got to know about this they, they read the Bible they have to know but yet this they're, they're in God's house in God's house doing this stuff oh yes there's there, there's a satanic virus that has been loose I believe it's the latter-day death angel no different than when God told Moses tell his children put the blood on the door because tonight he's releasing the death angel to kill all the firstborn sons so you all got to stop acting like this is some kind of game God is to be respected he is to be respected okay he is to be obeyed many of you that are parents did you expect your children to obey you well then why would you not obey your parent Jehovah God why are you walking around here acting like you don't have to obey him stop disrespecting Jehovah God I take it personal because he's my real father I don't just say he's my father I show him that he's my father by my actions See, Satan got you all thinking we can't live holy in this world. We can, if you want to. We can. There comes a time where, when you figure out, when you figure this thing out, when you, when, when, when you are in the back of the booth in the corner in the dark, and stuff is, you, you, you're saying you're with God, but stuff ain't working because you haven't released everything that you're supposed to release and you keep getting jacked up and jacked up jacked up and now satan's able to come into your body and create diseases now you're in and out of the hospital in and out of the hospital you'll figure it out if you're smart i had to figure that out because watching people in the church if i were to continue to follow certain people instead of reading my Bible for myself and finding out what God wants me to do and how God wants me to live see we tend to watch people in the church and when you're watching people in the church and you see them still going to the club so you say well I guess I can still go and you see them still you know smoking marijuana and drinking you're like well I guess 
guess I can still do that. No! No! You see all your friends, you know, they bring their boyfriends to church and then they go home and they live together. They're shacked up, you know, but at least they're coming to church. No! That ain't what God said. No! I had to cut off the boyfriends. Okay? And, and, and you sisters meeting, you know, you, you meet someone and you're dating and he comes to church with you. You know, so you feel justified in sleeping with him because, you know, well, we're dating now. No! Wrong move. Wrong move. And let me tell you something about a man who doesn't have a relationship with God. It's only a matter of time. It's only a matter of time. Okay? I do not understand why these women turn around and marry these men or brothers you turn around and marry a woman who told you she was a Christian you turn around and marry her and then you you want to wonder why she cheated on you with so-and-so in her office you want to wonder why let me help you because any man or woman that will cheat on God will cheat on you it's a matter of time just a matter of time it's just that simple. So if you go into a relationship and you are not born again and you get married, God will give you grace on that because both of you didn't know. You didn't know. You didn't know better. But if you are saying you are a believer and a Christian and you start dating someone and they also have the audacity to tell you they're also a believer and a Christian and you all start fornicating together and then you have the audacity to marry them I'm telling you whoever cheats on God will cheat on you just that simple a matter of time and don't ask no questions and save your tears go into prayer and fasting and ask God to help you because that's all you're gonna be able to do now stop disrespecting Jehovah God Stop disrespecting Jehovah God. Stop disrespecting Jehovah God. Stop disrespecting Jehovah God. Trust me when I tell you, he's the only one that can help you supernaturally. So what we have here now is the beginning of sorrows. Read your Bible, Matthew Chapter 24. Read it. Read it. So you all have to come back to humility. You've got to come back to humility. Humble yourself. Some of you, I, look, I'm not doing nothing. I'm okay. Well, then help yourself. Help yourself. Help yourself. But as for me and my house, I'm going to humble myself before Jehovah God. I'm going to accept what he told me I need to do. And I'm going to remain blessed in the process. Okay? See, there's nothing that Satan can do to me. Why? Because I have a supernatural shield. Of protection. I'm trying to help you. Where do we get that supernatural shield of protection from? Obeying God. Obeying God's instructions. Listen to this. In the book of Proverbs, I want to read you, I want to read you the word of God. Okay, book of Proverbs, chapter 4. Hear ye, children, the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine. Forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender, and only beloved in the sight of my mother. 
he taught me also also and said unto me let thine heart retain my words keep my commandments and live many of you know that proverbs was written by solomon the wisest man in the world he said get wisdom get understanding forget it not neither decline from the words of my mouth forsake her not and she shall preserve thee love her and she shall keep thee talking about the word of god the law of god the commandments of god humble yourself you will not make it you will not make it outside of god it, it's not going to happen it's not going to happen listen exalt her and she shall promote thee she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ointment of grace, a crown of glory. Shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son. Or I could even say, O my daughter. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. This is what happens when you humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. See, see, it was never about religion. It was never about religion. God, God didn't allow Jesus Christ to die for you and I to run around with the dog on religion. That wasn't the purpose. God allowed Jesus Christ to die so that to redeem you and I back to him so that you and I could walk in this earth as his children. Obedient to our father. See, see, the Bible only repeats, 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 repeats. The Bible repeats itself, repeats, repeats, repeats. You want to know what's going down? Read the Bible. The Bible is the past, present, and the future. You want to know what's going down? You want to know about the new world order? You want to know what's going to go down in the mark of the beast? Read the Bible. Revelation, the book of Daniel, Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel. All the major prophets already told us what was going to go down. So this has never been about religion. This has always been about you and I having a relationship with the true and living God so that he can navigate us through this satanic system. You know, white supremacy, racism, those are only fluffy, fluffy, fluffy titles. This is a demonic system all that other stuff is just fluffy titles satan is at the root of that and you can't march a demon away so you need jehovah god you can't march a demon away are you serious right now you 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 you, you can't march a demon away you can't riot a demon away you and i have got to come back to our father and we've got to pray and fast and shut that demon down. I already had a conversation with my father. About these satanic demons. God in the name of Jesus. If they come for me. Take them out. Unless they want to give their life to God through Jesus Christ. Just that simple. I already had that conversation. Why? Because I know how this system works. When you start exposing the truth, folks want to come for you. Don't come for me. He'll come for you. In your dreams, he'll come for you. This is the kind of relationship that you and I have to have with our father. I don't need a leader to lead me. I have one. I don't need a president, con Congress, senators. The Supreme Court making laws that Jehovah God is against. Are you serious right now? Jehovah God is against the Supreme Court making certain laws that they are continuing to introduce. Do you think for one second they can lead me? Think again. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Go back to your leader. Your father. His name is Jehovah God. And if you have any other before him, you will lose. You will lose. It's just that simple. 
So God left me in this earth and he's placed me in this earth at this time, at this season to point you all back to Jehovah God. I don't point people to me. Jack like preachers do that. Jack like preachers want you to call them. Yeah, call me, call me, call me. No, 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 no. Call Jehovah God. I point you to Jehovah God. Jack like preachers want you to call them because you make them your God. Stop calling everybody when you have a problem. Bow your knees and talk to Jehovah God. He's the only one that can change it anyway. Everybody else, when you call them, they expect something in return. All right. Oh, I, I, I've got to call my pastor because I'm going through this. I'm going through that. I'm going through this. No, 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 no. You call Jehovah God. You call Jehovah God and you obey his instructions. If the Bible said in Romans, if the Bible said in Romans 12, present your body as a living sacrifice, that is your reasonable service, then you do that. I have to die daily. I have to die to myself daily. I have to personally die to myself. Things that my flesh wants to do, I have to shut it down. Okay? And to ensure my, my flesh does not try to destroy me, I will fast and pray and shut that thing down supernaturally. With the help of the hand of God. Paul said in my flesh there is no good thing. For when I do good, evil is always present. So then that means as long as you and I are in this flesh, Satan is going to try to come after us because we can't get out of this flesh. So what we have to do is what Jesus Christ did. He fasted and he prayed. As you fast and pray, read your Bible constantly. Study the word of God constantly. Live clean. Let me help you. If a brother doesn't want to marry you, sisters, okay, bounce. If you ain't good enough for him to marry you, bounce. Why are you sitting around acting like a, a wife for somebody that don't want to put a ring on your finger? Are you serious right now? Where, where's your self-esteem? Let him bounce. And, and you continue to stay with God. God will send you a king. And let me help you. A king is worth waiting for. Not a hoe. Not a hoe. It's just that simple. If somebody doesn't want to put a ring on your finger, how dare you keep your legs open, about to bust hell wide open. Don't die. That's all I can tell you. Don't die. You better tell that brother to... To bounce. Nobody loves you when they're helping you to go to hell and bust hell wide open. That ain't love, honey. That ain't love, brothers. You don't let a woman, you don't let a woman push you into Satan's kingdom. You don't let a woman send you to hell. Don't die. Let me help you. There will be many, many ex, ex hoes and whoremongers in God's kingdom. Let me help you. There will be many ex, okay, myself included. Can I keep it 1,000 for you? Okay. Because if you slept with one man or 1,000, God still consider, considers it. He, God still considers it ho, hoish. Because the Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 4, marriage is honorable in all, and the bed undefiled. But whores and whoremongers, God will judge. So I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to God that I made it in God's kingdom before I bust hell wide open. So now, I wish I would, I wish I would let someone 
send me to hell. Okay? Over a 10, 10 minute or 5 minute orgasm. I wish I would. And many of you don't die. Because that's what your little boyfriends and your little girlfriends are about to do. Shut it down. If they love you, it's better to marry than to burn. It's better to marry than to burn. I'm trying to help you tonight. All right? So, that was Proverbs. Letting us know that we have to intent, attend to the instructions of our Father, Jehovah God. And why would we not listen to him when he created the world? So he knows how all of this is going to go down. Trust him. Trust him. Okay? So family, the question is no longer... Um, the question is no longer do you listen to him when he created um, the question is no longer does God love you that's, that's no longer the question we already know the answer to that we already know alright so so the question now that I want you all to begin to ask yourself is do you love God? That's the question. Do you love God? And if you love him, you have to start obeying him. This is the beginning of sorrows. That's what the Bible says. When you hear wars and rumors of wars, nation rising against nation, kingdom against kingdom, pestilence, food shortages. Never in America, let me help you, never in America have I gone into a grocery store and nothing was there. How about you? Okay then, so we know something is going on. The Bible is the past, present, and the future. Those of us that have been reading our Bible for years, we know what time it is. And as a prophet of God, I'm trying to share and I'm trying to warn you all what time it is. God has given us specific things that we are to do and we are not to do. Okay? And you all have to go back to obeying God. It ain't about you. It's not about me. I didn't create you. You didn't create me. So the one that created us is the one that we need to obey. And he's also the one that can supernaturally protect us. Okay? Trust me, God knows how to split a Red Sea in 2020. God knows how to take care of his children and destroy the enemies. He knows. He's very well. He's very good at what he does. He knows. So you and I have some satanic enemies. Don't get it twisted. We have some satanic enemies. Just like God has his children, Satan has his children. It's in the Bible. Read it. Pick it up. Read it. Satan has children too. Asatakabarabosoto. But they cannot, they cannot touch God's children, especially those of us that are on an assignment. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Okay? I'm trying to help you. And come out of these jack leg churches. God already shut the doors. Don't go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. 
don't go back. Okay? God shut the doors around the world, giving, giving everybody an opportunity to repent. Everybody. Okay? So something is going on. And as God continues to reveal to me truths, I'm going to tell you. Okay? Because see, when 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 a satanic system has lied so much, because it's obvious if you tried to cover up something, something is underneath what you're trying to cover up. So I'm 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 so I'm simply asking God questions right now about my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. My first question is why did they paint my Lord and Savior uh, white when he was brass, bronze, and black like me? Why was my Lord and Savior painted that color? See, this is why knowledge is dangerous. It's dangerous when you start getting some knowledge. It's dangerous. Who was trying to hide something and why? And I don't apologize for knowledge. Somebody got a problem with me wanting to know why was my Lord and Savior painted a color that he was not. Anybody got a problem with it? Handle it. Handle it because the truth is coming out now. This is judgment. Beginning of sorrows. Everything is, the truth is coming out now. I'm not the one. I love everybody. But I also love truth. I don't like being lied to. Why was I lied to? For years, got this picture up. Why, 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 why? why? Somebody got an answer for that. And somebody will. Somebody got an answer for lynchings. And somebody will. Somebody got an answer for, for, for allowing, you know, a people to be enslaved. Somebody is answering for that. Around the world. This is the beginning of sorrows. You all, in the meantime, come back to your God and shut everything else down. Because if you don't, what you're actually doing is worshiping their gods. You are worshiping their gods, the gods of the enemy. Oh, yes, a lot happens when you pray and fast. That's why I suggest you all start praying and fasting. God will begin to reveal some things to you too. Start praying and fasting. So in the meantime, I dare not worship their gods. The very ones that run this satanic system. Making all these laws that Jehovah God is against. Somebody is answering for that. I don't care what laws they make. If Jehovah God didn't change his mind, it's still illegal. It's still illegal. So you all come out of worshiping their gods. The very satanic system gods. When we walk away from Jehovah God, you're worshiping their gods. So you better come back to your God and do it his way. And I can tell you, I can tell you personally, I can tell you personally, I can tell you personally. When I walked away from their God, see their God was money, running after money. Their God, they run after money, 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 money. They run after money, money, money. They run after fame, fame, fame. They run after prestige, 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 prestige. They want to be the first. They want to be the first. They want pride, 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 arrogance, arrogance, arrogance. They run after all that. Hmm. 
but the coronavirus has been loosed in the earth now. So you might have been able to be in the back of the booth in the corner in the dark pulling strings. Hmm, Masotoko. You might have been able to, they might have been able to pull strings in the back of the booth and nobody knows who they are. Nobody knows who they are. Head of the music industry, turning our young people into unrecognizable, unrecognizable behind the rap music. You know, these rappers don't, don't, you know, somebody was telling them to, 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 to start rapping and cursing out women. You know, so, who's behind that? Who's behind our, our, our Judah? Who, let me help you. Who's behind our Judah, our lines of Judah being perverted? Who's behind it? Wake up. Wake up. Okay. You want to be rich? Okay, I'll slap you that. You want to be rich? I'll slap you that. All you got to do is um, call your own mother and sisters. Call your own mother the B word. That's all you got to do. Call your mother the B word. Call your sister the B word. Okay, wear your clothes like this. Pull your pants down so we can see your, your drawers. Do all that. Degrade yourself and we'll give you money. Who's behind it? Masoto Koro Shata. But guess what? Newsflash. God said enough is enough. So we may not be able to see their faces. Okay? We might not be able to see the faces of who's changing these laws into satanic laws. But Jehovah God sees who they are. And let me help you. As my people that are called by my name humble themselves and pray and seek my face, I will hear from heaven, I will heal their land. It ain't until you all come back to God that he will hear your prayers. Right now, you're on the same team as they are, worshiping their gods. Come back to Jehovah God, worship him, and seek ye first the kingdom of righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things that we need, God will add it beautifully. Beautifully, 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 beautifully. God knows how to add things to us beautifully. He knows how to give you a king, queens, queens. Come back to your God. Let God give you your king. Don't get your king from Satan, from a satanic system. You're going down. Your relationship is jacked up. Arguing every night. Arguing every day. What is that? Nonsense. When my king walks through the door, there is no arguing. There's only serving going on both ways. I serve him. He serves me. I serve him. He serves me. Ain't no arguing going on. Anybody got time for that? Come back to your God. Let him give us everything that we need. Let him protect us the way we need to be protected. Okay. All right. Well, that's all I have for you all on tonight. I want to thank you for joining me on tonight. Um, get rid of that procrastination spirit. Get rid of that disobedient spirit. Okay. When a real prophet speaks, God is speaking. It's just that simple. When a real prophet speaks, God is speaking. So you can trust God. You can trust God. All right. So um, a few announcements. Those of you that um, have not gone to YouTube, EVG Talitha Kumi, please go there and subscribe. Hit the notification button. So you all have to understand that I move with the Holy Ghost. Okay? You all may come here one day and I'm no longer here. I might be on I, I might be on uh, YouTube. You never know what's going to what's happening with this. All of this is a satanic system. So you got to be ready to roll with the Holy Ghost. Roll with the Holy Ghost. So when I tell you all to do something, it's for a reason. Go to YouTube. Subscribe. 
hit the notification button. EVG Talitha Kumi. Friday nights, I'll be there um, doing Friday Night Blaze. Anything happen here, I'll be over there. Anything happen there, I'll be on Periscope. And I'm continuing to investigate ways of delivering the message on various platforms. All right? But so that you all are on top of everything, be on top of everything. I bind that procrastination spirit. I hate it. Folks don't go far with procrastinating. I hate that spirit. If that's what you operate in, I bind it right now in the name of Jesus. Get out of it. Go to YouTube, subscribe, hit the notification button. Um, those of you that need counseling, online counseling, you know my business, we do that, Talitha Kumi Productions, okay? Go to Talitha Kumi Productions, you, you can schedule your appointment. Many individuals that are successful, not spiritually, I'm just saying in general, many people they're either they either have therapists, psychiatrists, or psychologists. Okay? Because many times sometimes you need to talk to. So, if you have matters concerning business, relationship, or trauma, schedule an appointment. All right? I do online consulting around the world. Okay? In our session, I have two uh, I have two sessions. One is one hour session, the other is an hour and a half session. The hour session is $35, not 3000. Some therapists cost you 500 and up, 1000 and up hourly. Okay? Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. All right? So, as you can see, we're not trying to break anybody. We're trying to help you. But I have a business that I have to run. Okay? And our prices have even come down. So we can help many individuals. So an hour session is $35. An hour and a half session is $45. Go to my website. Select your session. Okay? You pay that rate. We will get the email. We will send you three dates back. You choose the date that you like and the time, and then you will see my face on your scheduled session day. All right? It's just as simple. Everything doesn't need medication. Okay? Some people just need conversation. And I do weekly sessions, bi-weekly sessions, and monthly sessions. Okay? Because depending on how old you are, I'm sure your situation didn't start overnight. It's not going to end overnight. So some people need to schedule weekly sessions, bi-weekly sessions, or monthly sessions. So we do have those available. So everybody go to my website, okay? Um, the unfortunate thing is, even I shared with you about this millionaire who committed suicide about two or three weeks ago. I would stake my life on this. I believe that he was probably in therapy. They probably put him on some kind of medication and that medication jacked him up and he jumped out of a 27 story building. My condolences to his family. So see, in this satanic system, folks love putting people on medication. Everybody doesn't need medication. Okay, I don't believe in medication. Before. I don't know the last time I even took aspirin. I don't even know the last time I took aspirin. Because you know what my medication is? My medication is the Word of God, my Bible. My medication is our communion that we do at the end of every month. And my medication is my anointing oil. Anything going down in this body that I feel or I sense, I'm going to my anointing oil and I'm casting it out in the name of Jesus Christ. See, God's people are supernatural people. We don't do. We don't walk in the natural. We walk in the supernatural because God is supernatural. God is a spirit. My father, my leader, he is a spirit. And he don't lose. Okay? So you all stop thinking that this is some kind of religious. It's not supposed to be. We're supposed to have a real relationship with God. 
being led by a real God in this satanic system. And our God happens to be the one who owns all of this. So when you walk with him, you roll with him. You humble yourself. You don't lose. And demons can't even touch you. So this is the God that I'm telling you all you have to come back to. And it's not a religion. It's a relationship. And he is real. He's mine. I'm his. So stop telling everybody, oh, God loves me. God loves me. We already know that. The question now is how much do you love God? And if you really love him, then show him by your actions. Stop obeying Satan and get out of your enemy's satanic system. You serve in the same God they serve. All right? And you don't want to continue that because God has begun judgment upon this satanic system and its children. All right? All right, well, those of you uh, that want to be a blessing to this ministry, okay, if you are being fed by this ministry, then you honor, you honor God. You honor God through this ministry. And you do that through your tithe, through his tithe and your offering, okay? You honor God. Now, the jack leg preachers messed up all of us through the years. And they're still doing it. That's why God is coming after them. He never told you, send a thousand dollars and God is going to bless you. He never told you, you know, uh, 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 God told me to tell 20 people to give it. He never told you to do all that nonsense. But see, at one time, we didn't know any better. We did what they told us to do. But it ain't, it ain't about doing what they tell us to do. It's about reading your Bible for yourself and finding out how you're supposed to give. Okay, that's what it's about. So when Jesus was at a particular service and they were giving, he was looking at what people were giving. Jesus Christ was looking at what people were giving. That's, that's how you know about the widow when she gave two mites. Okay, so giving is appropriate when you're being fed by a ministry, but you don't do it the way the jack leg preachers told you to do it. Don't do that. And if, you're in a ministry that's doing that. I'm telling you now, get out. Because as they're going down, you will go down with them. Okay? Now, the way God told all of us to give, he said tithe, offerings. Tithe, offerings. That is the way, children of God, that is the way we honor God. Okay? Anything that I get from working, I give God 10%. And an offering, whatever I want to offer up. That is how children of God give. Go back to that. Some individuals, unfortunately, let me help you. And I know because it happened to me. Some individuals that keep listening to these jack leg preachers, you're going to wind up evicted. You're going to wind up evicted. Okay? Mortgages. Can't pay your mortgage. Why? Because that is not what God told us to do. And you're trying to keep up with them jack leg preachers. Because one day they want uh, uh, 200 and something dollars for partnership. The next week they got another project. We got to partner with this. Oh, then the next week we want you to partner with this. Then the next week, oh, we want you to sow a seed. $333. Sow that seed every month. Sow that. No. That's why God shut the doors. Don't go back. If you go back, when they go down, you go with them. This is the way we give. Malachi, check it out. Read it for yourself. Don't be lazy. Read it. Malachi, chapter 3, verse 8 through 12. Read it. God said we give him our little 10% and an offering. He blows that thing up supernaturally. Boom, 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 boom. That's how that works. He wants to be involved. He wants to let us know that he was the one that, that set that thing off and opened that door and opened that window of blessing. He wants us to know he did it. He told us, keep 90%. Just give me 10 and then I'm going to show you what I do as your father. 
But you know what the jack leg preachers told us to do? No, 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 no. You give it all to God. You give him 90%. And then when you get evicted, go to the jack leg preacher and see if they'll pay your rent for six months. It'll never happen. Never, never happen. See if they'll pay your mortgage for one year. It'll never happen. So then stop listening to the jack leg preachers tell you how to give. I'm not coming out the Bible. I already told you that. I'm not coming out the book. Okay? God told us tithe and offerings, and that's what we do. Now, you want to continue to do what the jack leg preachers told you to do? Help yourself. Help yourself. But I see a lot of families out in the streets now, homeless. I see a lot of families. And let me help you, those of you, because I got a lot of executives on my page also. I got a lot of executives that have never given a dime. Let me help you. Don't get sick. You think you you think your money, you 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 think you're rolling, you think you're a baller and you're rolling. Okay? If you're being fed by this ministry, then you obey God and you're giving. Okay? And those of you that are wealthy that come to my page and you've never given a dime, don't get sick. Let's see what your money can do then. Okay? Because those that obey God, you come under the same umbrella I'm under. You come under the same umbrella relative to your provision. I honor God with my tithe and offerings. I honor God with everything I get in here. Because I know it was God that allowed me to get it. Okay? I know. So then I honor him with my little 10%. But then he blows that thing up supernaturally. Open door here. Open door there. Another opportunity here. Another opportunity. That's all God. And I don't have to rip my hair out doing it. I'm listening to them jack leg preachers. Different, different churches I would go to. Trying to obey them because I thought that was the right thing to do. Doggone eviction notices on my door. Ask me how many of them were there to help me. I had to repent. I had to repent to God and say, God, I don't know how I got myself into this. He said, I know how you got in, in here. You, you listened to them and didn't listen to me. Stop listening to me. I had to repent and say, God, I repent. Please get me out of this. I went right back to my tithe and offerings. But, but, but actually, when I found out they were jack leg churches, I didn't put nothing in the basket. Nothing and wound up leaving. That's how you do that. You don't go down with nobody. If you can help it. Don't go to hell through the back door. Or the front door of a church. I know people right now. Got two and three and four jobs. Trying to obey these jack leg preachers. And they run around with five jets. Three cars. Uh, ten houses. What you need with all of that? You're not a celebrity. Ask me how many. Ask me what did Kobe Bryant take with him when he died. Ask me what did Whitney Houston take with her. What did Joan Rivers take with her when, when she died? Nothing. So we simply obey God. I honor God with my little tithe and my offerings. And he takes care of me. And he makes provision for me when I can't even see a way. When I couldn't even see a way sometimes. He would open the door. I remember one time I couldn't even find a job. This is when I left the Jack Leg Church. But I was still tithing into my ministry, into this ministry, which belongs to God. Everything I got. Okay. I had to go on unemployment. I tithe on my unemployment. And I was praying, God, that's when I was praying. I told you all a couple of, a couple of months ago, I was praying for a $75,000 job. I was like, God, I want a $75,000 job. God, God. And he gave it to me. And I couldn't wait to leave. Them folks tried to kill me. <laughs> they tried to kill me. But anyway, I'm telling you, God will provide. We don't come out of this satanic system. Come out of this satanic system. I'm not doing their holidays anymore. They can keep that. Okay. Easter. Resurrection Sunday. They turned it into bunnies and chocolate. I ain't doing it. 
Christmas, supposed to be the birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, turned it into satanic Santa Claus. I'm not doing it. Come out of the satanic system. Okay? We honor God. We give into his kingdom. And he supernaturally sustains us and provides for us. That's how that works. It's just that simple. Okay? And those of you that will continue to finance this satanic system with all their holidays and you running out buying this, you'll see what I'm talking about. You'll see. You want to continue to obey these jack leg preachers? Folks sitting in church with two and three and four jobs trying to do what they say. May God open your eyes in the name of Jesus before you're destroyed by these folks and this satanic system. Okay? I invest in God's kingdom. I invest in his kingdom. Okay? And as soon as we can get back out like talking about it, we're going to be evangelizing. That's what I do. I go after souls. And that is what you all are to do. We go after souls. Okay? And the only covenant that God wants us in, not partnerships. God didn't say nothing about no partnerships. When we give to God and we do God's work, we're in covenant with God. We're in covenant forever. We're not church people. We're God's people. So those of you that are honoring God with his tithe in your offering, go to my website, empireofjesuschrist.org. Empireofjesuschrist.org. If you give me, if you leave me your email, you will receive a receipt. All right? You will receive that. Um, those of you that want to honor God through Cash App, Empire of Jesus Christ. Now, someone told me the other day they couldn't get, they couldn't find my Cash App. I don't know why, because that's all, I, that's all that I, that's all that I honor God with my tithe and offerings. That's I send mine to Cash App. I don't know why they couldn't find me. But if you have any challenges, if you have any challenges, let me know. Let me know. Um, if the Empire of Jesus Christ is having issues on Cash App, go to EVG Talitha Kumi and let me know so I can notify these individuals if other people are having problems. Otherwise, uh, just go to empireofjesuschrist.org and you can... Uh, honor God there, or you can cash at me at EVG, Talitha Kumi. But I really like individuals to cash at to Empire of Jesus Christ, because that's the ministry. So otherwise, I'll have to go to EVG, Talitha Kumi, and send it to the ministry. And I don't mind doing that. I don't mind doing that. But uh, if you have any problems, let me know so I can correct those problems. All right? All right, everyone. I will see you right here on Sunday. And everybody, I want you all to start working, doing the work of an evangelist. I want you all to start, you know, start working with God. Okay? So when I ask you all to hit the share button, when I ask you all to invite other brothers and sisters, okay, do God's work. How dare you come here week after week and you're being spiritually fed. Don't you know that there are people on your timeline that need to hear the word of God? Don't you know that there are people on your timeline that will bust hell wide open? Okay? That you can reach. So, so, so don't do that. Help somebody else other than yourself. Okay? If I weren't here week after week, you wouldn't have learned what you learned tonight. Or the other times that you have listened to the broadcast. Okay? Don't, you know, and, 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 let, me, and let me say this. Let me say this. I'm not a jack leg preacher, so I could care less about likes. You know, you, you, I could care less about, you, you, you don't have to, you know, all, all the titles and all, the, all that stuff. Listen, listen. What makes me happy is when you do the work of God because that's what makes God happy. Okay, 
you don't have to come on talking about hello queen and you know hello dear and all that stuff i don't pay that stuff no mind let's do god's work because that's what excites god that's what makes him happy and i like making him happy i'm not here for likes and and all that other nonsense okay i'm about god's business so if you want to be about god's business then handle his business okay and you can covenant with me as i've covenanted with god to do his work all right so everybody let's get busy it's not about us it's about jehovah god getting this word out and i'm sure as we continue to grow and i continue to fast and pray god is going to continue to reveal some things to me and as you all fast and pray he's going to reveal some things to you but first things first get yourself protected supernaturally get yourself taken care of supernaturally by obeying god and his instructions all right all right everyone well that's all i have for you on tonight i'll see you right back here at 8 p.m on sunday everyone have a blessed week god bless you Somebody.